one day somebody does something unspeakable to someone else, to someone you hardly knew, man, you do something about it, because you can. Mm. Because it's who you are? Mm. Mm. And you've always been. All right, guys, so I'm giving you this one. It's kind of breaking news. It broke yesterday, but it happened over the weekend. And um, I don't know why this, these things affect me. I don't. I don't know why I get so affected. Um, particularly when it comes to teenagers or kids who have Down syndrome or autism, they're autistic, or cerebral palsy, or anything of that nature. Um, I'm just, I don't know, it just affects me. Maybe it's my faith, but it just, you know, George Floyd, when I saw that video, it really affected me. It really did. When I saw Elijah McClain, that was a hard editorial to do, because I was just like that poor kid, you know? Here's another one out of Apple Valley, California. 15-year-old who suffered from autism was fatally shot by a San Bernardino County deputy after he charged him with a bladed end of a long garden tool. Now, the incident unfolded March 9th, which was Saturday, Shortly before 5 p.m., when deputies with the SB County Sheriff's Department responded to a 911 call about a domestic disturbance in on Iroquois Road, which is in Apple Valley, yes. The moments lasted about seven seconds and were caught on the deputy's body warden camera. First of all, I want to thank the San Marino County Sheriff's Department for at least purchasing those body cameras because they didn't have them before. It's going to make a world of difference to have those deputies recording the interaction. We need cameras on every incident. And it's not just because of the cops. People lie on cops. And if there's no body camera and nobody recording, it's the cop's word versus his. Cop don't always win. But with that camera footage, the truth is told. But it goes the other way too. If the deputy does wrong, or the police officer does wrong, camera doesn't lie. I digress. The deputy can be heard asking, where's he at? Before Ryan Gaynor, young boy, emerges in the home's entryway wielding what authorities say was a five foot long garden tool with a sharp bladed end. Hey, get back, you're gonna get shot, says the deputy. Now in the 911 call, which was made by the teen's sister, she can be heard telling emergency dispatch operators that her 15-year-old brother was committing assault and battery and he was banging on the door to the room, her room, which where she was presumably calling for help. The call lasted about five minutes and they've edited some of the call. You can watch it on KTLA 5. Um, I don't play KTLA 5 video clips because Tribune Media gets me every time every time i play a ktla5 um now the deputy's statement is that he arrived he was the first responding deputy and without provocation gainer raised the bladed end of the tool ran toward the deputy the deputy retreated and gainer chased the deputy in an attempt attempt to assault him with the bladed end of the tool that's when the use of force occurred neighbor joe gabler said i never met the boy but he heard that he suffered from autism when an officer is attacked with a, any kind of weapon um especially in that circumstance seeing that video i don't know how much of a choice he had not to do what he did the family's attorney says the san Marino county sheriff's department is not telling the whole truth these officers should be investigated and probably prosecuted for the murder of Ryan Gaynor. While some are criticizing the deputy's response, saying less lethal rounds could have been used, others believe that in split-second gunfire was justified. And there's a few more statements there you can read. I'll put the link to that story in the description box. My take, I always give my take, whether you get offended or not. Here I go. But... 
Without video, I would probably question the deputy's actions. And that's only because of what we've seen nationwide, where many law enforcement officers, a lot of law enforcement officers, don't know how to deal with mentally disturbed or mentally ill people. You know, like people with autism or people with Down syndrome. Cops think they can just walk up and grab them. You can't grab somebody that's autistic or have Down syndrome. They freak out. You have to, hold on a minute. You have to de-escalate. So I'm thankful that there's video because watching the video footage, I'm not gonna blame the deputy in this one. I, I can't. It's a tough call, but if there is a question. Why didn't he use a taser? Why didn't he tase him? Why didn't he pepper spray the area? I don't know. I wasn't there. And that you, when you're watching the video, it happens that fast, that quick. I don't know, man. I just, I'm, I'm sick and over this, this, fatality of a 15 year old autistic kid you know that it doesn't think like we do doesn't have the cognitive you know uh, the, the cognitive what am I trying to say you know that we have tools that we have thinks differently to him nothing makes sense he's autistic now you know he's dead so I wanted to give you this one though simply because I want to raise the question here's what I want to ask all of you and you can comment in the comment section I'm really looking for an answer here how do we somehow I don't know man how do we bridge that broken communication between the mentally handicapped and law enforcement. Because that happened here in Yukaipa several years ago. A guy was having a freak out and his parents called because they, they called the police because they said, All right, we need help. Can you help him? Maybe get him to the hospital. And when they got there, the guy raised something. I don't remember what it was. Maybe it was a garden tool a shovel, I think, or something. Um, I don't remember, but at any rate, the deputies used lethal force. And the parents thought, we wouldn't have called the cops if we thought he was going to shoot our son. And again, I, in this one, I can't blame the deputy. It's a hard call. This isn't a, my best editorial news story, but it's because I'm wrestling inside. I've been wrestling with this for, I don't know, going on. two or three hours now. 